This place will turn any whole animal into pastrami. What's up guys, this is Constantine. I'm here with Reach. What up? And we're at this really cool butcher shop deli restaurant hybrid called Goodies in the Pantry in Orange, California. And I'm excited because I've actually been here before. Claudio, the owner, helped me out with a piece on charcuterie cuts you may not expect or have heard of before. Mm -hmm. So one of those was game meat pastrami's. Claudio will actually turn just about any animal you can think of. Elk, antelope, wild boar, venison, you know, some of those game meats, but also goose. Today we're going to try and see how he makes rabbits into pastrami. And he's gonna do the whole animal for us. The whole rabbit, the ones that hop around. Yeah, Peter Cottontail. Let's go check this out. Let's do it. We named the shop for Goodies in a Pantry because I was always obsessed with the idea of my grandma's pantry in the countryside. Dark, cold place where you got stuff hanging. For beginning the flatting process, even if it's a small animal like a rabbit like this one. So I'll need to kind of cut the bones on the chest here up into the, into the neck and do this. I'm taking the organs out, we do not need them. We will be smoking the whole animal and turning it into a pastrami. We will use for our charcuterie boards the back legs and the middle section, which includes the loins. Those are the most meaty ones and the upper half we will use as a starter for a stock for soups or stews. Any curing process starts with salt. You can add different condiments or different other uh, spices depending on the meat that you're using or on your preference, but the process is pretty much the same. For the curing, since it's a small animal and curing will not take more than three, four days, smoking will not take more than two, three hours. All right, so we're back at Goodies in the Pantry. Yeah, we're back. It's been three days, but now it's time to take the rabbit out of the cure and put it into the smoker. When you smoke meat, what you're doing is you're adding a level of flavor from the wood, the heat, um, the chemicals that come out from the wood that add extra aromas and flavor. But you're also preserving the meat even further because smoking it helps to dry it out a little more because the curing process already dried it out partially, which helped to intensify the flavor. But now we're going to add a smoking note to that and help preserve the meat even more. Flavorful rabbit, let's go. When it comes to the rabbit pastrami, you can do it in different ways. You can have it in a fricasse, that's like a white creamy sauce with the mushroom and bacon. You can also have it as a cold cut on a charcuterie board with a good cheese and a good wine. Maybe some pickles, maybe some figs. Or you can also have it in a sandwich. So we got three different cuts of the rabbit here to show off. This slice right here with all the little paprika sprinkled on top. This is from the leg. Mm. Mm. You know what I like about rabbit? It's like the more tender, flavorful version of turkey. This has that like gamey flavor, mm -hmm. but almost has like the texture of pork. We're gonna go ahead and just move on down the line. So this is rabbit belly, essentially. Let's go. You can tell like the curing, the salt, and all the flavor of the garlic and the spices has really gotten into this piece. I really get that pastrami characteristic in this cut. Let's get into this third cut here. This is the loin. And on top here, you're seeing a smoked sea salt. Okay. Just to help accentuate the flavor. So this one mm. is a lot more tender mm -hmm. than the leg. The tenderloin. Mm-hmm. We have these amazing rabbit pastrami sandwiches. Yes. And you have that crispy cheese, the mushrooms, the bell pepper, all that. The rabbit cuts through all of that and just takes lead role in just what is a delicious sandwich. And that's how you do it right. Mm -hmm. The smoke comes through, the cure comes through. Now you know what else should come through? What else should come through? All y'all, because y'all need to try this rabbit pastrami at Goodies in the Pantry in Orange, California. And if you enjoyed what you watch right now, don't forget to like and subscribe on YouTube. Also, don't forget to hashtag FoodBeastYouTube on your food pictures so you can get featured on one of our videos. I'm Reach. And I'm Costa. And make sure to come check this place out. You'll probably catch me in the back corner, gnawing on some charcuterie.